guess who? Yeah, it's me, Miss Sarah. Ugh, I miss you all oh so much. Let me give you some air hugs and air high fives. Now, are you ready to hear the true Bible story today? But first, I want to see all of you on your feet. You ready? Get on your feet, I wanna see you. I wanna see you get on your feet. All right, now we're gonna march. Are you ready? Let's go like this. Hup, two, three, four, hup, two, three, four. Attention! Yep, that means stand very still. Oh, now at ease, friends, at ease. That means you can have a seat. Great job, friends. Today's Bible story is about a special kind of soldier called a centurion. Now, that's a word. That's a really big word. Sometimes Miss Sarah can't say that word, but can you say it with me? Centurion. Well, those were leaders in a big, big army. They were big and important, and they and there were soldiers that listened to them. But the centurion in our Bible story believed that Jesus was even more important. And this centurion needed Jesus' help. Are you ready to hear the rest of the Bible story? On three, let's wake up Ollie. One, two, three. Wake up, Ollie! Who? Who? You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you. Oh, hi there, friends. Welcome to the Clubhouse. It's me, Zoe, and I'm so happy to see you today. As you can tell, I'm having so much fun. Do you know what I'm doing? That's right, I'm building a super duper sandcastle. And everyone knows that a super duper sandcastle needs a moat. I'm going to dig and dig and dig all the way around my sandcastle. Hey, I better start getting to work. This is taking so long and I've been working so hard. I don't know if I can do this by myself. What am I gonna do? Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello there, Zoe. Who? Who? Digging a moat, are you? Hi, Ollie. Well, I'm trying to. It's been taking so long and I've been working so hard and I'm feeling kind of frustrated, Ollie. I'm sorry you're feeling so blue. But I have just the story for you. Listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. <laughs> there you go. You got it. Oh, hi, friends. Stormy and her friend Goldie are playing ball. For a while, Goldie was trying to hold the ball on her nose by herself, and it was hard. But then Stormy came to help, and now they're playing. <laughs> Isn't that what good friends do? They help each other. Which reminds me of a story. Today's true story from the Bible starts with Jesus walking into a city to do some important work when a centurion came up to him. Wow, look at that cool armor he's wearing. Centurions were leaders in the army. They were big and important, but this centurion believed that Jesus was even more important and he needed Jesus' help. Jesus, he said, my servant is at home and he is very, very sick. Please, I need your help to make him better. Now remember, Jesus was busy. He was on his way to do important work, but do you think that stopped him from helping the centurion? No way! Jesus said, Do you want me to come to your house and make him better? But the centurion said, Jesus, you are way too special to come to my house. I know you can just say it and he will get better. And that's exactly what Jesus did. Jesus told the centurion to go home and the servant would be all better. And he was! Wow! Jesus is such a good friend. 
Jesus heard someone needed his help and he helped them. Jesus loved the centurion and his servant just like he loves you. That's why Jesus wants to be your friend forever because he loves you very much. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there's your story. It's all true. Jesus helped the centurion, and he can help all of us, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, that was such a great story. Jesus helped the centurion when he needed him, and Jesus can help all of us, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it. Good. You know what? I'm gonna pray and ask Jesus if he can keep helping me to keep working hard and finish this moat. And I may ask a few friends to help me too. I'll see you next time, bye! Wasn't that an amazing Bible story? Jesus loved the centurion and his servant just like he loves you. That's why Jesus wants to be our friend forever, because he loves you. Remember, that's our bottom line this month. When I ask, who loves you? You say, Jesus loves me. Got it? Let's try it one more time. Who loves you? Jesus loves me. Now, are you ready to practice our memory verse? Do you remember it? It goes like this. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17:17. 17, 17. You want to try it one more time? How about I say the words and you do the motions at home? Are you ready? A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. I know you did that great. Now, remember to practice that this week. Now, are you ready to dance and sing? His love will never quit. Now, are you ready to pray with me? Let's 
close our eyes and bow our heads and pray. Jesus, thank you for the way you helped the centurion. He knew you could heal his servant, and you did because you loved him. We know you will help us too because you love us, and we love you. Amen. Amen, friends. Remember, Jesus, he loves you and wants you to help all the people that you know. See you next time. Bye.